Number 14, an error penny, 1972 Lincoln cent, struck over 1971 Lincoln penny, graded in mid state 62 brown by PCGS. The 1971 cent somehow escapes the scrutiny of mint employee, or some mischievous staff member intentionally put it into the beans of cent planchets. And this seldom encountered error happened. Strong traces of undertype is evident on the reverse side, with memorial slanting 45 degrees and shadowy e pluribus unum above. This error penny was sold for $1560. Number 13. This Washington quarter proof is also a byproduct of mint slip up. 1972 S. Washington Quarter double struck on a Roosevelt dime, otherwise called double denomination coin, graded as PR68 by NGC. Due to size difference, significant portions of quarter has irregular and incomplete shape. In God we trust and the date are not fully struck, as well as upper and lower letterings of reverse. It ended up selling for $3,600 in June 2023. Number 12, 1955 D. Roosevelt Dime with full bands, graded in mid state 68 by PCGS, well blended toning in copper rose, powder blue, and pale gold colors, is symbol side of this vivid superb gem. The underlying luster is fully frosted and intense, and the surfaces are as pristine as the day the coin emerged from the press. The Denver Mint struck over 30 million dimes in 1955. At the time, collecting coins by roll was popular among collectors, and quite a few rolls of this issue were soon removed from circulation. This created an ample supply of mint state specimens, including some with downright exquisite toning as here. The challenge of locating a striking gem example is further compounded by the fact that the bands on the torch on the reverse are sometimes rather weak and poorly defined. This one displays fully struck torch on reverse and it ended up selling for $5,280. Number 11. 1956 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS66 Plus condition with full steps. A rare premium gem example that matches exceptional production quality with ideal preservation. The fields are flooded by a silken luster and appear nearly proof like in hand. Courtesy of fine dye polishing visible around the devices, the surfaces are pearly silver gray accented by subtle golden iridescence near the borders. It was sold for $7,200. Number 10, another 5 cent piece. 1961 Jefferson Nickel and MS66, also with full steps. The present coin displays satiny nickel gray luster a sharp definition of Monticello, despite metal flow lines in the fields from the dye wear. It is extremely difficult to locate 1961 nickel in MS66 with full steps. PCGS population of MS66 gems is comprised of only 6 pieces with non numerically finer. This scarce specimen was bargained for $9,000. Number 9, attractively toned 1952 D. Franklin half dollar graded in mid state 67 was full bell lines by PCGS. The majority of certified 1952 D. half dollars are designated as full bell lines, and that is unsurprising as submissions are always value based. PCGS has examined nearly 7,000 examples of this issue, mostly in grades below MS66. This piece is an amazing superb gem with bold strike. Both sides have brilliant frosty luster with light gold toned frame. It fetched a sum of $11,100 at auction. Number 8, a wartime error penny, 1943 steel penny with repunched mint mark D. D over D variety. On this particular die, the D mint mark was first punched in too low and too close to Lincoln's coat, and then was repunched in the proper position, resulting in a dramatic doubled mint mark variety, classified as FS501 in the popular chair picker's guide. Bill Fevers and J.T. Stanton note these repunched mint marks is extremely tough to locate. This variety will be very easy to sell at a significant premium. End of quote. And this specimen was sold for twelve thousand and six hundred dollars in twenty twenty two. 
Number 7. This is 1949 Roosevelt time in MS-68 condition. This is a formidable rarity for Roosevelt collector indeed. The obverse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border showing a blend of teal, violet and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant save for slight dusting of olive patina visible under scrutiny. Perfectly executed and essentially untouched, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It was sold for $13,200. Number 6, 1946 S. Lincoln Sent in MS67 Plus red condition. Given that its mintage approached 200 million pieces, the 1946 S will never be rare in typical mint state, but in mint state 67 red grade, the issue acquires conditional significance. Since only 25 pieces have attained that level at PCJS with non finer, a sharply struck and unabraded orange red superb gem. That was bargained for sixteen thousand and eight hundred dollars. Number five. This is nineteen thirty-eight D Walking Liberty of Dollar in MS sixty-seven plus condition. The nineteen thirty-eight D Walking Liberty of Dollar claims status as a key date among post nineteen thirty-four issues in this series, boasting a mintage of only. 491,600 pieces. Despite its reputation, however, the date is relatively available and merely experiences heightened demand and thus strong pieces compared to common dates. That is until one reaches a superb gem level of MS67 and over. This piece displays splashes of olive gold and amber red toning in the right of verse margin, while the remainder of the coin is largely brilliant. Well struck and appealing with just a touch of softness on Liberty's branch hand. It was sold for $17,400. Number 4, 1974 S. Lincoln Sands struck on a Philippines aluminum planchet, frame planchet and uniface reverse error. The U.S. Mint struck more than, more than 60 million 1975 centimos for Philippines, apparently in 1974. The 1974S is a final San Francisco issue struck for circulation and at least one centimo planchet ended up between cent dies. It was apparently fed directly on the top of a regular bronze cent planchet with the obverse of the centimo flange struck by the obverse die and the reverse of the bronze planchet struck by the reverse die. This brilliant example is lustrous and lightly abraded. Lincoln's hair is incompletely brought up. The L in Liberty is off the flan, but the legends are otherwise complete. It was sold for $19,200. Number 3. 1943 Lincoln sent struck on a Cuban 1 centavo, graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. The United States Mint has produced coins for Foreign governments at various times during its history, so the production of one centava coins for Cuba in 1943 is certainly not a unique or not worse event in and of itself. This piece is quite dramatic in appearance with a Cuban star centered under the effigy of Lincoln on the obverse. The peripheral lettering and 1943 date are all prominently visible. The real mystery continues on the reverse. The scent was struck with a metallic turn of the dies. 180 degrees from the standard coin turn as used on all American coins. It was sold for $38,187.50. Number 2, 1964 Kennedy of Dollar from Special Mint Set, graded as MS67 by PCGS. The surfaces are set in textured as seen to a greater or lesser degree on every 1964 SMS Kennedy. Attractive salmon orange rim toning appears on the upper obverse and lower reverse. Some carbon gray flecks are scattered around the lower and left obverse. The strike is remarkably full on all details and a sharp wire rim around the both sides is also typical. The dangling Ford die marker on obverse is prominent. It was sold for $47,000. Number 1. And the most valuable coin of this episode, 1943 Lincoln Sands struck on a bronze planchet. The most popular wartime error penny, graded in mint state 62 by NGC. 
The 1943 bronze penny is highly valuable due to its rarity and historical significance. In 1943, the United States Mint was supposed to produce pennies made of zinc-coated steel to conserve the copper for use in World War II. However, a small number of pennies were mistakenly struck in bronze, which was used in previous years' coins. These bronze pennies are extremely rare because they were supposed to be made of different metal. It is estimated that only a few dozen of these bronze pennies exist today, making them highly sought after by collectors. The combination of their rarity, historical context, and allure of owning a unique and valuable coin contributes to their high worth in the numismatic market. This one was sold for $282,000 in 2017. If you're lucky enough to stumble upon one of these hidden treasures, you could walk away with a lot of money. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more incredible discoveries. Happy hunting treasure seekers!